Hi, I'm Sarah Blondin, and I am the author of Heart Minded, How to Hold Yourself and Others in Love. Most of us have a kind of challenging relationship with our feelings, and we're most often kind of stuffing them down or ignoring them or letting them make all their noise and never really addressing them. And a really easy practice that I use for feelings Instead of getting caught in identifying with them, we're just gonna learn to let them go. So we're just gonna begin by bringing our eyes to a close and getting really comfortable in our bodies. Deep inhale, long exhale out the mouth. And I want you to see if you can blur the edges of your physical body. And imagine turning into this great wide ocean. And there's ruby colored coral in your sand. And there's fish all around. And everything is at deep peace. Feelings are not us. They are not who we are. They are trapped memories of hurt. They are trapped identities, old stories, habitual ways of thinking. But we are the ocean and we are alive. And I want you to imagine a bubble rising up from the shifting sand of the bottom of the ocean. And as the bubble rises, I want you to maybe name a feeling, even a thought or an old memory that is no longer serving you or that you'd like to let go of. And just watch that feeling rise to the surface of the ocean. And watch it pop and enter back in the air. And you can do this for as long or as little as you need, just naming any feelings that rise up within your water. Maybe even bringing a soft smile to your face as you watch these things leave you. They are not you. They are but passing wind. They are but bursting bubbles of grace. Our feelings are not punitive. They're not meant to be wished away or to feel shameful about. They're there just to be let go of. You can open your eyes once your waters feel a little more calm. Thank you.